so in this video we are going to learn about the bifocals as you know that the bifocal is a lens in which the patient can visualize the patient can see in both of the distance at the far distance and at the near distance and commercially we use different type of bifocals like the creep talk bifocal which is a round bifocal and uh, the flat top d which is a d shaped bifocals these are common bifocals which we used commercially in many of countries especially and particularly in asian countries like pakistan india and nepal and you know very well that in bifocals the upper portion the superior portion which is a wide portion that portion is used for the distance for the far distance and the smallest segment at the bottom of the lens and that is used for the near vision and in this video we will discuss about the major problem in bifocals and the major problem in any of bifocal is adaptation when a patient is switching from the distance portion to the near portion to the near segment the patient will face the image displacement right if i'm looking at the distance with my bifocal lens and if i want to read at, at the same time and i will switch my eyes from distance to near then my eyes will shift from distance to near and my eyes will shift from a distinct line of the bifocal and when my eyes will shift from distance to near by crossing that specific line then my eyes will face image displacement or image jump right this is the major problem in bifocals so in this video we are going to learn that how we can reduce that image displacement if i have a specific refractive error like if i am myope if i have a refractive error of myopia then which kind of bifocal should i prefer and in this video we will learn that which kind of bifocal i should prefer if i am a myope or if i am a hyperope now if i am a hyperopic patient if i am a hyperopic and plus press biopic patient i have lost my all accommodation after 40 years know about the press biopia then which kind of bifocal which kind of shape of bifocal i should prefer then you have to keep it in mind that if you are a hyperopic patient then you have to choose a round bifocal or you can say a creep talk bifocal as you can see here now if you are a myopic patient you have your distance correction in minus in concave lenses then the flat top d as you can see here as well this kind of shape this kind of bifocal the flat top d is preferable for you now let's discuss that why a flat top d is preferable for a myopic patient and why a round bifocal or a creep talk shaped bifocal is preferable for a hyperopic patient now in this figure you can see the two different shapes of the bifocal this shape is called the creep talk or the round bifocal and this shape is called ftd the flat top d as you can see the figure right so as i have mentioned that if you have hyperopia if your light rays are focusing behind the retina at the distance correction then you must choose this shape of the bifocal which is creep talk or round shaped bifocal and if if you are myopic and if you are a myopic patient then you have to choose the ftd the flat top t now we will discuss about the reason that why i should choose creep talk or round top bifocal if i am hyperop and why i should choose i should go for the flat top d or flat top bifocal if i am a myopic patient you know very well about the spherical lenses that if i have plus spherical lenses like this you know that this is a plus spherical lens and this plus spherical lens actually is a combination of two prisms which are attached with each other base to base you know about the characteristics of the prism that this is called prism you know very well about the prism right this is apex 
of the prism and this portion is called the base of the prism so if you talk about the spherical lens the plus spherical lens then this single spherical lens actually a combination of the two prisms like the one prism this is base this is apex and here it is another prism this is apex and this is base so this is a plus spherical lens you can see in the figure so a single plus spherical lens is actually a combination of two different prism the prism number one and prism number two and both of these prisms are attached with each other base to base and now if we talk about the minus lenses you know about the shape of the minus lenses the minus lens is actually thin at the center and thick at the periphery and you know that the two prisms are attached in minus spherical lenses there are two prisms which are attached with each other apex to apex you can see here this is one prism and this is prism number two prism number one and prism number two both of these prisms are attached apex to apex in minus spherical lenses so the conclusion is the plus and minus spherical lenses both this plus and this minus spherical lenses actually are the combination of two prisms which are attached base to base in plus spherical lenses and apex to apex in minus spherical lenses so on this basis we will choose our bifocal so first I will teach you that why you should choose this flat top D this flat top bifocal if you are a myopic patient right you can see the segment of the bifocal is flat so this flat portion this flat line of a bifocal of a segment will act as base up effect now our distance correction is in minus because we are myope right and this portion is in plus right this segment is in plus so this line in flat top d segment is act as the base up right like this the apex is down and base is up like this right and in the upper portion we have a minus lens because the patient is myope right so in myopia you know that this is myopic lens so in distance correction in this segment in distance correction the base would be down right so the in this correction the base would be down like this base is down as you can see here and in near correction in, in this segment the base is in upward orientation right so in this distance correction the base is down like this base is down and in the segment in the near correction in the near segment in the near portion the base is up like this so if base up plus base down will cancel the effect of the prism so if you are a myopic patient then and if you choose this flat top bifocal then base up and base down effect will cancel the concluded effect of a prism and the patient will feel the minimum image displacement in flat top bifocal if the patient is myope hope this is clear and now we will discuss about the crypt talk or the round bifocal and now i will teach you that why we should choose a crypt talk or a round bifocal if the patient is hyperope so if the patient is hyperope that it means the distance correction is in plus and you know that in plus spherical lens the two prism will attached base to base the prism number one and this is prism number two and both of these prisms are attached base to base right 
and now we will prove that why we should choose a round top bifocal or a crypt top bifocal in hyperopic patient and you know that this is round segment this is not flat so here both of the lenses are in plus because patient is hyperop so the distance correction would be in plus and in press biopia the patient always need addition in plus correction so both of the portions are in plus the good thing is our distance correction is in plus and our segment of the near is in plus as well so here this round line will act as base down like this the base would be down like this base is down because the line is round so the line is round so the prism of this lens will act as base down the lower portion of this prescription will attach like this right so actually the base is down in near segment and in the upper portion here in the distance correction you know that so here the base is down you can see here in the near segment and if we talk about the distance correction then the base would be in upper orientation like this like this base up like this you can see in distance correction the base is up and in the near segment the base is down so base up and base down will cancel their effect of the prism so in hyperopic patient if he choose flat top bifocal or crypt top bifocal then the image shift or you can say the image displacement or image jump will reduced so that's why we should choose round bifocal for hyperopic patient and the flat top bifocal for a myopic patient i hope all the points are clear regarding the bifocals and in the very next videos i'll share a lot of knowledge regarding the optometry